I've tried to make this video on three separate occasions. Obviously, it's raining here in Central Texas, Somerville to be exact, uh, visiting family for the holidays, for Thanksgiving. And I wanted to make this video about education. So I was gonna go to Texas A&M University with my family, which is where I went to school, and talk about how I got into music and whatever, and that didn't work out. I ended up taking this kind of music tech class and I was already into music. Uh, it's way blown out, that's not gonna work. And then I ended up going out to this farm and this cabin built in the 50s and this beautiful piece of land with my friends and there was bonfire. Ooh, fire. Ooh, bigger fire. Boom. Big fire, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh my whoa. goodness. We can roast marshmallows from here. <laughs> It was tons of fun and I was going to record my little spiel there, but uh, the mic wasn't on and so I missed that. This is it, this is my last shot. I don't have a musical education background and there are lots of videos that talk about whether you should do that or whether you shouldn't do that. And I was gonna talk a little bit more about it, but it's cold and I'm wet and I'm wearing a hood and I feel silly. I wanna offer up a bit of a warning. When we learn to do stuff, whether it's play the guitar by ear, whatever that means, using chord charts, or by going to school, maybe back in the fifth grade or the fourth grade or the sixth grade or whatever, and you start playing something and people start saying, wow, you're really good at that. Every time I get nervous, I ain't gonna take the hood off. Looks kind of silly in the picture right here. But every time any one of us does something musically, there's people around us that say, wow, I'm just not gifted that way. You are so gifted. Uh, and there's some truth to that. I'm not saying there's not people gifted in music, just like in sports and whatever, but I'm also like, you know what? My hand doesn't really move the, the way that a guitar chord wants it to move, and I've really worked hard to do that, and I've been working hard to do that for a long time. And so, yeah, maybe I am gifted in some way, but also it's difficult. But to the point, something happens when people tell us that we're good at things, we like to be told that we're good at things. It feels really good to be good at stuff. Whether that's a formal education where you work your way up for standardized tests and you move on to the next level, or it's you know playing music, uh, knowing G, C, and D chords and getting out there and making up a melody and you don't even know what you're playing but it's, but it's fun and it's cool and people like it and it feels so good to hear that feedback. And if we're not careful, we like that feedback more than we like the actual thing that we're doing. And I'm lucky enough that I love playing the guitar. And I love it the same amount that I did when I was a kid. And I love all the stuff that goes around with music. So I kind of fell into this path and I'm grateful for it. But I know that many people get stuck doing something they don't necessarily love to do because they like the way it feels when people tell them they're good at that thing. And so whether you are just getting started and you're kind of feeling this right now and you're kind of figuring out what, you, what it is you want to do, you know, make sure that the thing that people praise you for lines up with the thing that you want. And I guess the lesson really to me and to all of us that have been around the block for a long time is, you know, I guess we don't tell people they're good at stuff. I don't think that's the answer, but I do believe that we got to make sure that we are encouraging things that people actually enjoy and trying to get to that next level and find out whether or not you know, we enjoy them doing it and so we encourage it or we see something in them that makes them want to continue to pick up that violin or that French horn or the mandolin, which I just got and I love. You'll be seeing more of that on the channel soon. So that's my wise words on Thanksgiving weekend. I wish that I was walking with so many of you either last week in LA or today in London, but maybe there'll be a Dallas walk soon. And if anybody's in Dallas and wants to make that happen, I like to walk. Talk to you soon.